Hello folks, this is JeffreyJ329 here once again. I'm about to do my 60 second gameplay of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online for the PC. Uh, I'm going to feature a, some call it, well, kind of an old deck with some new cards from the newest Forbidden Light Trade set. It's my uh, Lapras GX deck with Water Box. I call it Water Box because it's just Lapras GX. But the Lapras, Water Box with Lapras GX is the main attacker. So I'm going to show you how the deck works and then we'll play a game with it. So let me get Lapras right there. Here's Lapras. So let me show you how the deck works right over here. So we play, here's the main attacker, Lapras GX. He has a 190 HP basic Pokemon water type. For the first water, attack, water energy, for one energy, it's collect and draw three cards. Which we, uh, we can use from time to time if we get stuck, but we, we're going to make it focus on the second attack. This is burn for three water energy, does 160 damage, and you can't use attack during your next turn. So you pretty much get hit 190 with a choice bank, or could we hit 210, so you can pretty much knock out one... St most stage one GXs are one or like the basic Buzzwall or Ultra Cosma or Espeon and stuff like that. And then it, for two water energy and a colorless energy, it has the GX attack called Ice Beam GX, which does 100 damage and opponent power is not paralyzed. So if we can use that just in case we get, we can stall our turn just in case we don't get the cards we need. And then uh yeah and then um attack uh hopefully it gets stuck and then we attack again with we just switch out and attack with Blizzard Bird. Okay, so I'm gonna buy the whole deck. So I have the Pokemon legs. Play the one tap later for the draw supporter. One attack ability for the draw support. Get that draw support. Get that first turn Bridget or any draw support just because we don't we don't have one at the start of the turn. And play one two mana for EX, which is 120 water type basic Pokemon. Is the ability we use for this ability Aqua Tube. So any Pokemon that has water energy, or my Pokemon has one energy has no retreat cost. So you charge the energy Lapras because Lapras is two retreat. So it's two retreat. And Volcanion Prism Star I think is three retreat I believe or two. So you can get them out of the way. And this is, we play a 2 2 line of artillery for that Abyssal Hand ability. Draw 3 have 5, so we can get the cards we need and stuff. Just in case if we need to get some more extra draws. Then we play one Volcanium Prism Stone, which is in the new Forbidden Light set. It has the ability called Jet Geyser. So once you turn before you attack, you may assist card a water energy card from your hand. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon one to the bench Pokemon. So we can just take knockouts this day, uh, knockouts with that as well. And then we can all uh, get a GX out as well stuff, or we can fuel an Aqua Patch so you get um, a Lapras ready turn two. And if three water energy, Sonar Blast, which does 100 damage, it does 20 damage to each opponent's best point. Well, it's not a bad attack as well, so we can use that as well. And then because uh, Manifest has the two water energy, we call Minimal Pump, it does 60, you heal 30 damage from each of your bench. Not really going to use that for that. There's the Pokemon lineup, so now the trainer lineup. Play four copies of Aqua Patch. You attach a water energy from the discard part to one of your bench Pokemon. It reminds me of, it's like Dark Patch, but just for water types. So you get those, um, you discard them out with like Ultra Ball or Crash Awake, which is a new support in Forbidden Land, what I'm trying out here. And then you just uh, attach them to get to your Lapras and into your bench. Then you play two for your blower to get those, get rid of those two in the same club, the Gobatox and Gobador. Because we do need abilities like Artillery and Volcanion and Tapalele. Four Max Elixir to get those uh, energies out quicker. You look at the top six cards, you get find a basic. Energy, put it to your, uh, one of your bench Pokemon. Play one rest of get back any Lapras or Lele or anything, uh, Pokemon we need. Just in case they get knocked out very quickly. We can put, either put it to our hand or we could shovel three Pokemon to discard it to the hand deck. Once we're about to get back those, uh, Pokemon out, I'll a couple of energies just in case we need them for Volcanion's ability. Four Brooklyn Hill, so once during each player's turn, we may search for a deck for, is it Water or Fighting? So we can search for Remoraid, Lapras, Volcanion, and that's pretty much it. And get that field started. Then I play one Bridget to get those uh, Lapras Jacks and the uh, Remoraid and um, and Overcame Prism Star as well. Then after, this is a new supporter, one Crash Awake. You just got two Water Energy cards from your hand. You do search for the two, up to two cards and put them to your hand. So you just got two Water Energy cards and you can get two Aqua Patch or you get like a supporter, like an Aqua Patch, so you can get your Lapras out very quickly that way. Then I play two Cynthia, draw draw six, start for your hand. We know what that does. Two Guzma to get those, so hopefully get those knockouts and get in, uh, get back in the active flush just in case we get stuck with something. Then play one Lily, draw to have six. Good first turn card as well, you draw to have eight. So just in case we don't have a Bridget, we go with the on Lily. Then we play two N to get for the late game, just in case we're losing. We can get those, uh, you can all st stall our opponent, opponent and then we can try to catch up. Then we play one Kakui to get to draw two cards and add that 20 more damage as well. So you try to get that 210 off as with, uh... Lapis business blood attack and that choice band. For a sycamore, draw uh, best of draw to support in the game, draw seven, discard your hand. I play three choice bands, so you can do that 30 more damage, hit for numbers, so you can hit that 190 with Buzzwall to knock out Buzzwalls or Ultra in the Cosmos. Then I also play one fighting for you to give Lapis more HP. Also, with the Kukuri, you can hit for 190 as well, so you can get that uh, knock out those Buzzwalls and Ultra in the Cosmos. Then I play two Floatstone 
Just in case I don't have the mana fees, I can retreat like the artillery or the volcano prism star or mana fee as well for free. And then I play 12 water energy. So that's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck video. Let's get to a match and see how we do. Let's put Lapis over here. Let's see how we play. Let's see who we're playing against today. Waiting for the opponent to draw to begin. Oh, let's see what we're playing. Let's see. We're playing against Lucas 0307, which is a fighting psychic. It looks like it's gonna be Buzz Wall. It could be Buzz, straight Buzz Wall. It could be Lucario. It could be anything at this point. Let's see what we, we call a coin flip. Go heads. Unfortunately, we lose, which is fine. Because I do want to go second. Hopefully, I get the first turn attack off. Let's see how our hand's gonna be. Okay, this is a pretty okay hand. We do have that draw supporter, and we have the fighting for belt. We go. We just collect anything as well, so we can feel that aqua patch. Let's see what my opponent starts with. He drops a. Uh, he drops his active, and he drops out a bench as well. Let's see what he starts with. He starts with. Uh, oh, Ink. So we're probably playing Ultra Necrozma. We're playing the Necrozma GX. So he gets that first turn bridge it up, which is always nice. Probably for a couple more Ink and a Dust Main. Uh, Dawn Wings. You got an Ink and the Necrozma GX and a. And a don't waste Necrozma. So you got a max elixir. He's probably got, he probably got it off. Attach it to the baby Necro to the Necrozma GX. Necrozma GX has the attack Prismatic Burst. So you do 10 damage base for you discard with psychic energy. You do 60 more damage for your psychic energy. You discard it. Okay, so do a max elixir, which I don't really need to draw. Attach the fighting for about to Lapras. I put a one energy on the Lapras. I will sick him more. Let's see what else I got. Okay, that's another Lapras. I got another Aqua Patch, which is good. So let's play the Aqua Patch. Attach it to Mayla, and then we're gonna go with the Collect. Let's see what we get with Collect. Let's Collect. Feel the original Resident. Okay, no, cards we don't really need. I think my next time I drop the Tabula Lele for Cynthia. So you get Mysterious Treasure, which allows him to discard a card, get any uh, Psychic or Dragon type Pokemon, put it to the sand, discard an Ultra Ball. He's probably got Lele here. No, he's gonna grab Malamore, okay. Good news, he doesn't have any Psychic Engine in his pile, so he gets Malamore. Malibu has an ability called Psychic Recharge, so you can attach a Psychic Energy from your uh, from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So you play Cynthia. Plays a Max Elixir. And he's most likely going to hit it. Okay, he plays another Max Elixir. Let's see if he hits that. And he does hit it, so he can go for that first turn Prismatic Burst. If you get um, Melvin out of the active spot, that is. Okay, yeah, he's gonna do that. He plays the field blow, so, uh, so this, no, this uh, lap is gonna be knocked out this turn. Goodness, he only has one Malamore, which is not so bad. So he can't really do nothing much with it. Let's see, so I, I put my other Lapras, so I don't have a choice here. Then we'll play the end this turn. I don't know what choice, best. I'm going to attach the water to Lapras. I'm going to rescue treasure Lapras back to my hand and put it to my bench. And I'm going to play the end. Let's see what I get. Okay, I got Buckle Hill. I got another Max Looks like I crashed awake. So we're going to play the Remoraid. I'm going to Buckle Hill. I'll search for another. Uh, I'll search for uh, Manaphy with that. Now I'll play the Max Elixir. And unfortunately, I did not hit it. Now I'm gonna pass. Oh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna collect again. I can collect again. It's fine. Well, okay, and two water energy. That's good. So I can view off question wake for next turn. But I do want to keep one of those uh, uh, water energy so I can attach to. I can attach to uh, uh, Lapis GX. So you've Mr. Shadows for another Malamore. Scarlet and Layla, which is surprising. I don't know why he did that. So you're gonna invasion, bring out the we got the dawn wings. Okay, so okay, if we get the float stone, this this lap is gonna be knocked out this turn. Okay, mysterious treasure. It's probably gonna start Malamar, it's called in Guzma. I'm 
what question is, did he get the float stone that he needed? Goes for, oh, he did not, so he's gonna pass. So, it's my turn. I draw water energy. So, I'm attached to water energy to the Lapras. I'm gonna drop a Volcano. I'm going to Brooklyn Hill for another Lapras. And I'm gonna play Crash Awake. Let's go on the road to water energy. I'm gonna get double Aqua Patch. I'll play Accelerated Aqua Patch. So, I can draw. So, I do need a supporter. So, I'm gonna to, I'm attached to Choice Band to the Lapras. Go to Aqua Patch. Attach one energy to the, uh, this Lapras. And I'm going to Artillery for four. I'm going to Abyssal Hand for four cards. Let's see what I get. Okay. Choice by Max Elixir. And another Aqua Patch. So I have another Lapras ready next turn, which is good. So they hit the, they hit the Elixir, which is great. I'm going to attach the uh, Water Energy to the Lapras. Aqua Patch to the Lapras. And then we're going to go for Blizzard Burn for Knockout. So we'll be doing 190. Okay, so I'm gonna take two prize cards. It's a Cynthia and a Water Energy, that's good. So what I can do is next turn, I can bring out this Lapras and uh, knock out this Necro. Who, who, if he knocks me out, me out in return, I'll just knock out this Lapras. I'll just knock out this Necrozma. So he's gonna register putting the Darwin's back to his hand. So attach the energy to the Dawn Wings. It's okay with me. Okay, attach, so he's gonna uh, psychic charge. Put an energy into the Malum. Uh, the Necrozma GX. For another for, uh, psychic recharge. Attach to the Necrozma again. Did he use all three psychic recharge? I think he did. I'm not sure though. He's gonna Guzma bringing out my other Lapras, so he'll take a knockout with this one. Which is okay with me, so I can just knock him out in return. I, I think I played three, like, okay, so I have to, I have to really manually attach for this turn. Okay, so he does 190. So I'm going to bring out this Lapras. Okay, so. Draw a Lily, which is now not really important right now. So I'm going to attach to Lapras. I'm just gonna play the Cynthia straight out. I drew another Max Elixir. I drew another Lapras, which is good. We want to, to see the Max Elixir if it hits. And it does not, unfortunately. And I could also have for one card. I drew a Cynthia. So I'm going to Blizzard Burn for Knockout. If there's another next turn, what I can do is I can Guzma his Dawn Wings. So I got a Manifest and a Sycamore. So I can uh, Guzma up his... I can Guzma up his... Uh, his uh, his dawn wings, and knock it out next turn. And bring out Lapras and never treat for free. But it's like let's see if he has the game. He just needs a float stone. Or and oh no, he needs two. He needs two energy. Okay, attaches the third energy to dawn wings. Drew the float stone. And he got the Guzma, so he wins. He knocks out the mana for the game. Alright, sorry for that, folks. We're supposed to be getting a win here, which is fine. But I showed it the pretty of the deck, which is how it worked out. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.